sunken pirate ships, full of treasure, mysterious dungeons for you to explore. All of that and so much additional content coming in this very first update for Clash Quest. So stay tuned and check it out. Welcome everyone to Island Update, the video series for all things Clash Quest, whether it's new updates, new features, community questions, and more. It's been a month since we released Clash Quest into a limited number of countries. In that last month, we've seen so much love from our community, whether it's fan art, feedback, just messages in general, just the amount of excitement you've been showing us has been incredible. So on behalf of the Clash Quest team, from us to you, this is a heartfelt thank you. And we can't wait to show you more of what's coming. Clash Quest is still in what we call beta or early development. We're aware that there's still a lot of things that need to be worked on, a lot of features we'd like to add, but with that in mind, we do have a couple features we are adding in this very first update, so let's check them out. Now dungeons are dark and mysterious places full of loot, treasure, random items, even new troops for you to discover. How do you access a dungeon? Well, you need a compass. Compasses can be found either as a random drop as you complete levels, or you can acquire one in the item shop. Now, every time you attempt a dungeon level, it requires one energy resource or one of your energy tokens. The great thing about dungeons is that damage is persistent. So if you ended at level five on one attempt, when you make another attempt, you pick up at level five again and you keep going until you complete all 20 levels. The second feature we're adding to Clash Quest is something that we're calling shipwrecks. Shipwrecks are a great place for you to plunder loot. And that means gold, elixir, everything you need to level up your troops. All these shipwrecks will be scattered around the map. Additionally, we've got a bunch of balance changes coming into Clash Quest. All of those will be listed on our official patch notes when the update releases. Now let's jump into our next segment that we're calling Side Quest. Side Quest is where we'll be answering questions from the community about Clash Quest development. And for our very first one, we've got none other than legendary YouTuber, OJ. Hey Clash Quest team. So I've been playing this game every single day and I'm having a blast, but I still feel like there's some missing elements to the game. Do you plan to add any new game modes on the roadmap? Specifically, I'm interested in competitive modes like PVP. Looking forward to the answer, thanks. That's an awesome question. And to answer it, joining us is our very own game lead, Toko. Take it away, Toko. Thanks, Oche. Excellent question. We are definitely uh, thinking about different game modes uh, that, that would be added to Clash Quest. And uh, PvP mode is something we've been talking and discussing in the team. And there's been good feedback and ideas outside the team as well. My guess is that we will prototype it at some point and see how much fun it is and hope to add it to the game in one way or another. Second bigger thing that we maybe are more sure or more certain at this point is uh, this plan, cooperative plan gameplay or uh, something that you do together with your clan uh, and uh, defeat interesting quests and also uh, possibly uh, fight against other clans in this more, bit more like an indirect way, but, but would be a competitive game mode still. So that's something we are really excited to work on next and I hope to bring you at some point. Thanks, Toko. And thank you guys for joining us on our very first island update. Now, as a reminder, Clash Quest is still very early on in development. That means features are likely to change as we work on them. But we want to know what you guys think. What new features would you like to see? So make sure you guys comment below to let us know what new features you want to see in Clash Quest. And make sure you click like and subscribe because this is the first of many island update videos that we've got planned. Until next time, guys, we'll see ya. In your own time. <laughs>